Hi guys, welcome to Sharon's Tutorials. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about Canva. Um, now everybody knows how great Canva is for your graphics, especially if you're not by nature a graphic designer or very creative like me. So in this tutorial I want to show you a very basic way of creating a table in Canva. Um, now there's no magic button for this, um, you have to physically create the different cells and everything for the table and just to point out that it's actually a free account so this is something that anybody could do so I hope you enjoy it I hope you find it helpful and let's get started okay so as I mentioned this is just a bog standard free account with Canva and I've just created um, an A4 document which is what we have here and I'm just going to zoom in by clicking down onto here and we'll zoom in to 75% and scroll up so this is the document I want to create a basic table on. Now there's no in elements or anything like that. There's nothing in here to create an actual table. So we, what we have to do is um, insert shapes to create the table. So to insert a rectangle, just press the letter R on your keyboard and it will insert a rectangle straight away. And all you need to do is just resize this by grabbing these drag handles here and here. So we can just just move down and we can just resize these to a better size. That was just from um, the keyboard shortcut R for rectangle. If you, if you wanted a different shape or you wanted to see what other shapes there are, just scroll down here to elements and in shapes here you can see all and this will list all the shapes that are currently available. Now you'll see when you hover over them if they're free. Um, which means they're free to use. Some of them will have, um, just trying to find one now, M might have a little crown in the bottom corner, which is basically only used for a pro account. Um, but the majority of these are used for free. So that's all fine. So if you wanted a rectangle um, from scratch, then you would click the square. And again, it's just a matter of resizing it to fit your purposes. So we'll just delete that. So we have, our, we have our rectangle here. This is basically going to be one of the cells for the table. So in order to, um, we'll change the color first before we end up duplicating it. We'll, we'll make all the changes on this first cell. So to change the color, go up to here, click on that. And then you have document colors already in the document you're, you're using. You have a default palette here. Um, you can select a new color and choose a color in here. If you know the hashtag, the hex code color. Or you can type in, um, for example, if we just type in purple and it gives you a selection of different purples if you wanted. Um, so we'll go with a, a light gray color first and that seems to be okay size wise, that's about right. So that's fine. So now we can um, copy and paste the rest of this. So if you wanted to copy, you select it and you could either do Control C and Control V to copy and paste. Or if you select it in the top right hand corner, you'll see here there's a duplicate button. So you can click on there and duplicate it. And you'll see the grid lines um, when you're positioning cells, you can see grid lines. So that's that's bang on center with this one here. And then if you wanted to, you can highlight both of those. So they're both selected and click duplicate again and it will copy and paste the two cells that you've selected. So we'll just do another one here and we'll duplicate this and a quicker way of doing it as well. If I just delete these to show you a quicker way, once you have them all selected here, so to select them, you can either click and drag over all three. So all three are selected or click each one individually while holding the shift key. And it's the same thing. And you'll notice up here there's a position and this positions it um oh you'll see they're actually aligned perfectly um the distributed evenly horizontally so that's all fine and then we'll just select all three again and we'll duplicate them and that gives us the second row again and we can then select all six of those duplicate those and that gives us another six and again we can just position these so that they're, so that's about right. So that's fine. So once you have them sized and colored how you wanted them, um, 
with most tables you have a header row at the top so we'll just select these three here and we'll just give them a different color to make them stand out a bit more the next thing our table needs is some text so in order to insert text you can either press the keyboard shortcut t for text and that will bring up um, a standard paragraph text here or you can go across again to your menu down the left hand side click into text and you can add a heading subheading a little bit of body of text and there's all these different um, versions here, these different formats that you can choose as well. Again, the majority of these are free, but you will get some that you need to pay for if you want to use those. So we'll just click on a subheading here and we'll just type in, um, let's type in category for our top heading. Now, obviously this is going to be too big for the first cell. So once you've once you've highlighted the text, once the text is actually um, chosen here, all of your formatting options are across the menu across the top here. So the first box is your font, your different font. So we'll just change it to that one. The next one along is the size, the font size. So let's just change it to a smaller version. Next one you have is the color. And again, you have all these uh, palettes of colors you can choose from, but we'll go with white against that background. Um, you can put, make it in bold, you can ita italicize it, um, you can underline it. This is your alignment, so you have it left aligned, justified, right or center. You can make it capitals if you wanted to. You can make it into bullet points um, or number one or none. And you have got your spacing, your letter spacing, your line height, and whether or, you not, whether or not you want it just um, centrally aligned within the actual text box itself. And then you have a new feature now with effects. So this is, uh, you can make it a shadow, you can give it a lift, neon, glitch. There's all these different options now and you can format them exactly as you want them. Um, so we'll just go to none. We don't really want any effects in that. And we just want to position this, try and get it centered to this. If you don't want to basically faff around trying to center these yourself, what you can do is highlight the cell, click on the thing while pressing shift. So you've got both of them set, um, chosen here. Go up to position again and you can click middle and it's already centered anyway. So that's fine. And that will basically put them in the middle. Um, oh, let's just move these back down to there. Okay. And once you have the text how you want it, again, you can just go up to here to duplicate and drag it into the next box if you wanted to and again I think that's around about the central there and just highlight the text and we can just put a um, type in here and again duplicate go across to here get it into the center highlight the text and we'll put status in here so that's how to do the header row. The next thing we need to do is put some text into the actual cells of the table itself. So again, we can duplicate these if you wanted to put them into the middle and um, we don't really want it white. Um, so we'll just do a, a black color. We don't want it bold either. So we can take away the bold on here and um, click into the cell and highlight it. And we can just put um, Excel um, duplicate that. Uh, we could do it over here, center that if I can. And oh, that's not going to work for me. I'm going to have to uh, do it this way, I think. Go into position, center, middle. That's it. And we'll just highlight this and we'll put um, video. And again, click onto there, duplicate it, and go across to here. Almost, <laughs> it's nearly centered. That's it, centered there. And we'll put published. There. So again, it's, it's easy. You just select the text box, duplicate it, drag it down to where you want it. And that's what you do for all of your, um, all of your text in the cells of the table. And that's it. Um, that's how to create a very basic table. Obviously you can squish these cells up um, a bit more if you wanted to, make it as compact as you like. 
Um, you can choose different colors, different fonts and make it your own. So just have fun playing around with all the different effects and the, the fonts. And I hope that was helpful. And until next time, happy learning.